You know when the access road looks like this, you're in for a good adventure. my good friend and mortal enemy, Xander Budnick, colleague of sorts, and we're heading into the promised land, Wabakim, biggest canoeing reserve in the world. Is that right? Yeah, it's true actually. Huh. I'm not even making it up. Oh, we're going to Wabakim? That's correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> Xander hasn't even looked at the maps yet. Typical. Order, chaos. Somehow we get along. Dude, my new truck. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. The paint! <laughs> I like when people get their comeuppance. Like you will someday. And your other blade. paddles up in my the bow. My double blade's like all the way up in the bow. Oh my goodness. Decent headwind to start out here, but it's a relatively small lake. And spirits are high, so it just doesn't matter. It's keeping the bucks off too. We've got a great looking route, several rivers and many lakes. Expect to be about 10 days or so. Should be fantastic. Coming up to the first portage, I have no idea how well traveled this route is, but probably doesn't see much traffic. So, it'll be interesting to see what state the portages are in. Sanders diving into the candy immediately. And things are looking pretty good here. This is good to see. Bugs aren't bad either. Thank you. Just a couple, that's good, thanks. To a good start. Yeah! Camping! scenery to start out here on the creek, Vale Creek. Three portages in total along this section to bring us into Vale Lake. Could be some good fishing in there apparently and that's where we're going to set up camp for night number one. A little unmarked carry on our maps there. So one more, four in total and then we're into our lake. Some rain moving in. Looks like it's getting close. Here's the campsite marked on our map. Surprisingly, there's a boat here. Made it to camp one. Beautiful lake, and we are hungry. Time to get dinner going. Dinner! <laughs> Looks like the rain might hold off for us. And we're pretty happy with camp one. Came just at the right time. Threw Xander's tent back there so it doesn't get burnt by sparks. Got a tarp up, hammock under there. Good start. I feel like I just heard distant thunder. Looks like it. 
Beautiful start to day one here, although we are both pretty zonked. So we're gonna hit the hay early, get a good start tomorrow. And Aaron sent me an interesting message on the SATCOM today saying that there was a pretty serious bear attack in Wabakimi today. One person was injured non-fatally. That's all that has been released so far. Stay extra safe. Um, unusual, for sure. I do keep bear spray on my belt at all times. But uh, anyway, interesting news to get as you enter Wabakimi. We won't actually be in park boundaries for four, three or four days, but let's have a look at the map. So we've got a great looking route with a lovely mix of creeks, rivers, and lakes of various sizes. Should be perfect. And we've stopped there for the night. Didn't put too much distance behind us, but we had travel as well, so we were happy to stop. The actual park boundary is here, so we'll be getting to that in a few days. And this section, the start and end, are both public land. Down here at the end of the route is supposed to be a beautiful section of river, so it should be a terrific route from start to finish. Then like having like five people make a fire together. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. How many vloggers does it take to make a fire? Oh, okay. You're like negative one for making a fire. Let's just smother it. Oh, okay. You, you're still going. And oh, okay. It's dead. It's out. <laughs> this is gonna be a long trip. <laughs> what? what? Stop! Why are you doing this? It's warming it up. It's warming it up, baby. I'm so mad. I don't know, just ignore it. Just close your eyes. We <laughs> 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 stay back. Go back there. Oh, oh my camera. Beautiful start to day two here. Some rain showers and I woke up to a rainbow. I imagine you didn't see that. Uh, there, there was a rainbow right in the middle of the lake. Oh, that's cool. I called your name a few times, so I thought I you were less. in deep sleep, so. I was in deep, deep sleep, it was so nice. Yeah, we needed the sleep, so. Feeling much fresher than yesterday. Fresh. Colder, didn't it? Yeah, it's a little cool. Can you hold me? Do you want a bite? Yes. Thank you. From the bird then? <laughs> yeah. You're my sacrificial lamb, getting rid of my burnt end. Some nice breakfast burritos for day two. And it's starting to slow down the rain, so we're gonna get going soon. Mmm. It's pretty good, John. Pretty good.
almost ready to get on our way. We are camped right there. We're gonna carry up the route, probably only three carries today into Mountain Lake. We're gonna enjoy this section because it's supposed to have trout. So we're gonna stick around for a little bit. Oh, what are you? What was it? It was like a weird bug. Like a beetle? No, I don't know what it was. A couple loons hanging out here and they were wailing last night. Beautiful. Time to get a line in the water. Probably a lake trout. Give a couple of little bugs at the beginning. Staying down a bit. Yep, there it goes. Oh, oh that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah! Yeah, buddy. Yeah. He's a fairly chunky guy. There we go. Huh, yeah, it's pretty thick. That's a good, that's probably my biggest lake trout. Nice. Hello. All right, let's get you in the water. Feel free. Bye. That's nice. That was nice, that was a good. I didn't think we'd catch a lake trout, to be honest. <laughs> so we did. Ye of little faith. Had a nice paddle across the lake, and there are a couple inflows here. And the pike. Okay. This hook comes right out. On to the first carry of the day. When I was here two years ago in Wabakimi for my first experience in the park, Bugs were atrocious. Probably the buggiest trip I've ever been on. They're building a little bit here, so I got shields up. I don't bring any bug spray, just clothing. I prefer it. But still, not too bad. Pretty decent trail. A little overgrown in the middle, but Overall, we're happy with how things are going here because this is a more portage heavy part of the trip, I would say. Typical of a creek. And I'm guessing the friends of Wabakimi were the ones who cleared it. They make these maps and then I've got another set from Paddle Planner. And all is well with that. The maps and the trails are good, so we'll get through it. Forlorn, despondent, crestfallen. Sad. carries down for the day. We've got one more and then we'll be into a lake where we're probably going to stay for the night and then we'll be through this creek section and into some of the bigger lakes. Actually a beautiful section of the creek here. A little waterfall and some small cliffs around. Feels very secluded too.
500 meter portage into Mountain Lake. This will be the longest portage for the day. Hopefully not the hardest, because uh, some of those portages earlier today were pretty hard. And at the end, we're gonna be blessed with some amazing fishing and a beautiful campsite, guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, I got tired all of a sudden. Yeah. Up, 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 up. What? Why would you do that? I need pure oxygen. Do you know how deeply I'm breathing that in? Nice. Absolutely bonkers. So we're into Mountain Lake and we're looking for camp. Nice turquoise water here, beautiful lake. Perfect spot to spend the night. Looks nice. What? Looks nice. Yeah. Looks like a great spot. Let's have a look around. Some nice cheesy chili tonight. <laughs> so this route's throwing us for a bit of a loop. We have gone from there to there. And we got a lot left and we're already feeling a little beat up. But I think we're just easing into the trip and we'll actually get better. So <laughs> that's uh, sort of surprising. Thought it'd be a pretty reasonable trip. Very peaceful close to day two. Calm down, bugs went away, and it's dead quiet. It's supposed to get quite chilly tonight, four degrees above freezing, so I'll be bundling up with everything I've got because that's the coldest night of this trip. Night, Zan Dog. Uh, good night, John. I'll see you in the morning. Maybe in your dreams, like I like when you normally see me. Actually, you were in my dreams last night. We were exploring this like old mansion on Lake Superior on an island. It was creepy. Huh. Yeah. Sounds, sounds creepy. Anyways, yeah. so goodbye. Okay, bye. Cool start for day three. Loons are serenading us and it is calm and clear. A beautiful start to the day. We're gonna continue north and we are really excited. I think we're both feeling a little fresher now. So Xander got some nice beauty rest this morning while I did everything. And his crocs are on backwards. He's got his left on his right and his right on his left and he's got socks on with the sandals, so. Despicable human being. Bellies are full, fire's out, ready to go. 
Xander found this moose antler in the bush. It's all gnawed by rodents. We use it for a source of calcium. And Xander was just changing and I unfortunately saw his phallus. And his phallus looks identical to this, like it's been gnawed at by a rodent. Quite unsightly. <laughs> oh, God. I love you, John. Said nobody ever. Oh. I have a wife. The mosquitoes are biting at are my bones. Are you that Aaron didn't even say I love you at our, at our wedding? She didn't? Is that what you're suggesting? Uh, I don't like the cut of your jib. I don't like your tone. Mister. Starting out on glass for day three. Just lovely. And I'm feeling so much better today. I have a lot of trouble sleeping sometimes and I just go like non-verbal when I haven't rested well, so. I'm back, I'm back to life, feels great. Felt like a breeze compared to the mountain portage. Eh? Barely really broke a sweat. I was expecting 500 meters to feel a lot longer. Yeah. Just came out into Tunnel Lake, which is the biggest one so far. train track that goes through the park, through the bottom end, and you can either go over top of it, the portage, or through this blasted out tunnel. Obviously, I'd rather go for the tunnel. Just enough room to get by at this water level. Really cool though. <laughs> that was fun. That was so cool. At high water you wouldn't fit, eh? <laughs> no. It's just enough room for us. Awesome. Well, that was a lot of fun going through the tunnel there. And we're now continuing up into this nameless lake. Beautiful. Lots of Canadian shield rock. Conifers. Blue sky. Very calm. Just a perfect day to be out here. Nice paddle here on this lake. Campsites and portages are not marked in Wabakimi. It's a wilderness park. So we're scoping around for it. Not convinced? What? Not convinced? I'm guessing it's it. Okay. But I just don't know where it is. It goes. All right, this one is just a bushwhack, really. Couldn't find the trail. Odd. Maybe it's somewhere else, but this is where it was marked on both of our maps. We have two sets, they both agree. Not too bad here at the end. And all this flowering Labrador tea smells truly beautiful.
Well, that's it for Rocky Island Lake. On to the next. Many thanks. Xander drinks water about half the rate I do. So, he's hooking me up. I'm out. 500 meter portage done. Couple left to get us to our destination lake. So we went through a small lake. We were able to wade the creek that went into it, which is really nice. Skipped one of the carries, and we're coming up to the last one. And then we're into our lake, our destination lake. Beautiful channel here. Oh, oh no! Ow! No! So I hammered out the last portage. It was an easy one. Xander waded it. He's got a plastic boat, so he can pull over rocks. And he finished a little earlier, did some fishing, caught us a couple walleye. So we're gonna have a nice fish fry here. And we've got an island site that we're pulling up to. It looks perfect. Hey, we got some wood, fire pit. Looks nice. like it'll be a nice camp. Sweet. So my beloved hammock has a pad in it, which allows it to sleep perpendicular to the ridge line, and also provides a lot of insulation, which is great on a cold night like last night. And I just need some time to get in, tweak it, and make sure it's flat, but I think I nailed it. This feels amazing. Oh, that's heaven, man. That's so nice. Good to see ya. It's a perfect, a perfect flat lay. Oh, that's nice. It's gonna be a good sleep. Xander's got a nice spot in the clearing here for happy campers. Much better progress today. The previous days we got into there, day one, there, day two, and today we got up to here. Tomorrow we'll enter the park, that's the boundary there, and carry up on the first river of the trip, the Boiling Sand River, up to a giant lake, Smooth Rock, which this is just showing the bottom of it there. And because we'll be hitting the park tomorrow, got a reservation here. You don't reserve campsites in Wabakimi, but you just register for the days you're going to be in the park. I love fish fries with two people. Right. Just one person gets the fire going, one fillets. It can be a bit of a pain with solo. We didn't cut this, by the way. This is from the bush. Yeah, two people is the way to trip, honestly. Like. Yeah, a lot of advantages. Yeah. Dry lichen, so flammable. It's a miracle there aren't more forest fires. Uh, isn't that a beautiful sound? Better than I expected, even. I'm so glad we have an entire pan waiting for us there. Yeah, a whole pan up there. Just the appetizer. Mmm, wow. And I never bring lemon, but man, I, I have to start bringing it. Yeah, on. I forgot. It's such a good call. Yeah. It's 
Something interesting going on in this little spruce tree. There's this dark spot which appears to be covered in little mites or something. And the ants, I guess, are trying to pry them off and use them for food. I'm not sure. Anyway, perfect close to this day. Very satisfied after dinner. Just in the camping zen now for sure. Have discovered us overnight. Frig. Funny, they were they weren't here last night. Barely. I have a hole in my sleeping bag mat. Oh no. Very small. So it's it's not bad. Were you able to find it? No, I that that's that won't be able to be found out here. It's, yeah. too, it's a it's a pinprick, so. Yeah. That was not too bad. I only had to inflate it once. For some pizza on calzones. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Getting on our way for day four. We start out with a 562 on this map, 631 it says on the other map, into the park boundary. Almost there. We're on our way and about to start the first portage into the wilds of Wabakimi.
Yes. Made it. Well, that was a tough one. We went over a hill, bugs are coming on, and lost the trail a couple times. It was pretty, pretty vague. But we're in the park now, so hopefully there'll be maintenance on the trails now a bit more. Anything behind us is either volunteers, users, maybe the odd lodge or outfitter. And Bill Mason used to say, portaging is like hitting yourself on the head with a hammer. It feels so good when you stop, which is a pretty weird saying. He used to be a lot more poetic than that. Um, and then my book that I'm reading, The Complete Wilderness Paddler, they describe portaging as noble torture, which is a lot more poetic, but I'm not sure how it's noble. Yeah, Nothing that, about what we just did was, was noble. Nothing. But we're happy. There's a satisfaction to it. It's mm. satisfying being done. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Well, this is a beautiful lake, but very small. So we're through it quick, on to the next one. And it's a short 200 meter portage, supposed to be. And then we have a good paddle. So this will be the bulk of our portaging for the day. Not a promising start for the park. But not too hard either. came into Tamarack Lake and we'll be heading up up to the Boiling Sand River but we'll be coming back here later in the trip much later down and around so we'll get to see more of Tamarack later it's a pretty good sized one coming up to a fishing lodge here on Tamarack Lake it's on the base of a big sandy point and I usually don't care too much about fishing lodges don't rather not see them but this one's just beautiful just looks like a little slice of paradise. How many people out there in the world would just love to have a cottage like that in the middle of the Canadian wilderness? Dreamy. Yo, that's a good one. Nice. That guy. Oh man, that's a big one. Yeah. All right. The the pies are. Oh no, it's a small pike. That's okay. Dang. I'm just letting go. Huh? It's a small pike. Gave a pretty good tug. Yeah, he was really. Ragging on your. Oh, it's not a small pike. That's it's got a, a bit of half. That's a good pike. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like a torpedo. Nothing special, but beautiful pike. Hooked right in the lip. Thank you. Yeah. Stopped here for an afternoon break on a big rock outcrop. It's close to the solstice, so the days are very long. We actually don't even need our headlamps, haven't touched them yet. And there's been plenty of moonlight as well, so it's been a lot of light. And in the middle of the day, it's just you gotta get out of the sun for a bit. Some welcome cloud cover right now, but it's zapping us a little bit. So, just gotta get off the water, take a break. Xander just shouted down and asked if I had any Benadryl. Bringing it up to him. It seems like he's having a bit of a reaction. Yeah, Let's see this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it just keeps swelling up. <laughs> it's like backcountry lip filler. 
He was just taking a nap and probably got a black fly bite right yeah, on his dude, lip. Yeah, dude, like right here. Like, I was sleeping and I Whoa. started, like, like, rubbing my lips together. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, <laughs> it just started like, swelling more and more. <laughs> and now I just got, like, this oh. ridiculous... Bottom Let's get some it. Benadryl in you. Oh, it just keeps That's through. hilarious. You look like Jar Jar. Miss a Jar Jar boom. Something's not right here. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't do the whole lip filler. They just did the bottom. <laughs> now I got that like sexy party look that everybody's looking for. <laughs> you got Botox. Yes, I know. That could be Botox. Bush Tox. Bush Tox. Thank you. I have some. I just like not super handy. Yeah, yeah. I think take two. I need the medicine, John. You might want to uh, just take it. I was thinking you could like chew it. Brush it up. Try and yeah. or two direct bun. inject oh. it into your lips. What? I just bit it. it just oh, it. yeah, I'm sure it's just super bitter. Uh. The lips don't work, John. That's why I can't nap when there are bugs around. Oh, well, that's That's learned. hilarious. It's so funny. <laughs> it's like disturbing. Just... Something's wrong. <laughs> Something's wrong with my face. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's the most ridiculous reaction I... <laughs> ever. It's just like drooping. Gravity's getting hold of it. Oh. Does it feel okay? It just keeps feeling like it's continuously swelling. <laughs> it's just not stopping. <laughs> hopefully the Benadryl will... Uh, yeah, hopefully the Benadryl does something. Down. Are you okay though? Yeah, I'm fine. That's so bizarre. Your throat feels okay? Yeah, yeah, it feels right. fine. Can I stick this tube down there to get some oxygen? Maybe we should preemptively before it closes. No. Just you want to poke it? I want to pop it with a needle. Oh my god. Is it hard? Yeah, it's like rock Ooh. hard. <laughs> wow. Not bad, eh? It's pretty wild. It's gonna stick a sausage link. <laughs> oh, it feels, it doesn't feel bad anymore. Dude. We're almost through Tamarack Lake, just looking ahead to the start of the Boiling Sand River. First of three rivers on the trip. Xander's hanging in there, still very swollen, but uh, hopefully the Benadryl is going to kick in and knock that off. This is one of the best portages of the trip. Really nice trail. Is Andrew starting to feel a little better? Normalizing it? Yeah. Um, I no, I think it's getting a oh, yeah, little yeah. smaller, just a little. Just a little up right now. Yeah, but he's a bit drowsy. I feel like my eyes just want to close now. Yeah. Xander's pretty zonked from the Benadryl, and it's almost dinner. So we decided to stop a little early, came across this gorgeous looking campsite. Who could resist? Oh. That's good. Oh, 
well and this heat stuff is not smelling good fresh stuff so it's all going in this dinner feeling better with some food in our bellies and a beautiful campsite my favorite so far really nice view down the river both ways if it's not uh, cloudy tomorrow then we'll have a good view of the sunrise yeah my kind of camp Winding down day four with nice sunset and my favorite bird call, Swainson's Thrush. Nice. I have emerged. Getting things started for day five. We're just laughing about Xander's lip. Now we can laugh about it. We were taking it seriously as well yesterday. We didn't really mention that, but we were sort of worried about his throat closing up if it started moving down, but no, all good. And now just a hilarious memory to look back on. All right, we're about to get on our way for day five. We'll camp somewhere around there. We'll get a half kilometer port out to Smooth Rock Lake, and we should have a tailwind this way. By the time we get here, we could be really fighting it. So we'll see, hopefully we can make progress down there. And there's a one kilometer portage, the longest of the trip there, and possibly set up camp there. I thought I heard a stick break here. Going along nice and quietly this morning on the river. It's cooler, overcast, so hoping the wildlife's gonna be on the move. Where was it? It was right here and it went over? Well, you saw it. I didn't see it go over. I heard it. You heard I it? didn't see it initially. I saw it from like far, and I'm like, that could be a moose. And I'm like, oh, yeah. God. So seconds after I said it feels like it could be a wildlife morning, I heard something. Xander thought he saw it from afar. And I just barely got a shot of it in the woods as it was running away, but it sounds like Xander got a shot. Shedding layers. Yeah. Another nice trail to start out. Just great to see. So we're leaving the Boiling Sand River behind. We're into Smooth Rock Lake, which is the biggest on our route, and I think it might be the biggest in the park. It's a real giant anyway. caribou. No way. So awesome. Felt like a good wildlife day. Wow, that's such a, a privilege. That's I've been lucky enough to see three caribou, woodland caribou now in my life. But they are like ghosts and so elusive. Some people never see them in their lives. That uh, was a real, real treat. Yeah, it's tradition now. When we come to the north, Xander and I saw our first woodland caribou together. 
three years ago. Two and a half. Awesome. A little walleye here. Not looking to keep yet. We got a kilometer long portage ahead of us. Thank you. So we made it to our turnaround point. We now head south into the wind. So we're boiling up a little coffee with some lunch. This is actually where we planned to camp yesterday, but it all worked out. We were happy we were with our camp last night. Beautiful wildflowers here, all over. Now we're getting there. So we're making good progress here. The wind is not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. About 15 kilometer an hour headwind, gusting a little more sometimes, but definitely make progress in that. And anything like 30 kilometers an hour starts to get very difficult. 40 is, is just not worth it. You might as well wait. So anyway, we've got maybe two kilometers left out of the eight. So we're doing well. Well, we're at the outlet of the Lookout River and it feels like a peaceful oasis in here. So nice to be out of the wind. And we're coming up to the longest portage of the trip, but we're sort of looking forward to it after that paddle. Stretch the legs, something different. All right, the paddle's done. Beautiful outlet at the river here. And this is actually a really nice portage. Both of us have done it on our one Wabukimi trip each. So it shouldn't be bad at all. It's a kilometer, but it's called the Fantasia Portage because it looks quite idyllic. Oh, hey. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Staggering the loads on this one. Gives you a little break in between. Wasn't too bad. That was good. Nice leg stretch. And and then some. Yeah. <laughs> and on to Spring Lake. Is that what this one is? Yeah. Working our way up Spring Lake where we're thinking we'll camp, especially if we get some fish. Hoping to have a big fish fry for dinner, pack some protein into our bodies. And I realized on that last portage where there's lots of time to think that we have seen more woodland caribou than people on this trip so far. One woodland caribou, zero people. It's my kind of ratio. Shockingly, not a bite for either of us here. You would just think it's they've got to be stacked up here, but not a bite. Well, I got something that's pulling line. Probably just a decent pike. Whoa. It's got some decent power. Oh yeah, pretty nice pike. Well, oh, sadly, in the regs, they don't allow you to keep 70 to 90 centimeter pike, and this definitely is right in that range. So can't keep it. Got my pliers and jaw spreaders handy. I'm gonna need it for this guy. And the rubber eyes so they don't hurt the fish. I'll, I can put them in my own mouth, they don't hurt. It's soaked in the, just in the edge of the mouth, but won't open his mouth, so. 
can't get to the hook. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on one second. Yeah, it's in that slot, in that size that you can't keep it, sadly. Certainly nothing huge, but gave a good fight. Thank you. There she goes. Yeah, I just got another pike before that too. Small. Too small to keep, and then that one's not legal. Well, we just decided to pack it in, and I caught such a small walleye. It's not even worth it. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Watch out for the ground there, buddy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, not so graceful. Got a nice island campsite for the night. Heavenly hang back there. And some lasagna. Much needed, it's always much needed. Every meal out here, that we're so hungry for. And the perfect Earl Grey tea. Cheers. Cheers. When did you get naked? And why? Wonderful hang here. Just getting the tarp up to get some some sight lines out onto the lake. Great view. Oh. <sighs> Looks like a raven's nest up there. I was just thinking how nice it is to be here and not be stimulated by the internet. Cause like, if I was back home, I would have no patience for this. You'd never even notice it. I would have no patience for this. It's but, uh, totally drowned out. But right now I'm just like, this is all I want to do. Yeah. When you can focus your mind, <laughs> yeah. it's so many different things are interesting. <laughs> I know. We'll be bombarded. Can't wait to see the Mama Raven again. <laughs> Could be Papa. Really? Sure, why not? Closing out day five here. We started on the Boiling Sand River, came up and saw the caribou somewhere around there. Long smooth rock, one kilometer portage, and we stopped here on Spring Lake. And tomorrow we'll continue up the Lookout River, which is this section of the route. So we've done this, and we've got a fair amount left. I expect it will be 10 days for sure at this point. This day is going to be hard to top. We got the moose early, cool, cloudy conditions, which were much needed. The caribou, still can't believe that happened again with Xander. And then we got to this nice island campsite and saw a raven's nest. We watched it for at least half an hour, maybe closer to an hour. Just this the type of thing you just don't do at home when there's so much stimulation, so many obligations. Uh, it's so nice to just have time on your side. Tomorrow we head up the Lookout River. I'm really looking forward to that too. In the Friends of Wabakimi guidebook that I have, it talks about woodland caribou and there's some good facts in there. It talks about how their numbers have declined because of habitat damage and fragmentation. And of the 5,000 caribou that are left in Ontario, approximately 300 are found in Wabakimi. It says, although caribou settings are rare, they are most often observed along lake or river shorelines or when swimming across a lake. And unlike tundra caribou, much further north, 
Boreal caribou are usually alone or in small groups as part of their survival strategy, giving each individual caribou a better chance of eluding predators. It's also interesting that unlike moose and deer, female caribou have only one calf each year, never twins or triplets. In short, it's a real treat to see one. So I'm really excited to continue up the Lookout River tomorrow behind us, and who knows what else we'll see. Finishing up some rehydrated chili, and then we're on our way for day six. We've got a pretty powerful headwind, and that's just how it goes on canoe trips. It tends to be a headwind, but the campsites keep getting better. This is again my favorite, perfect little island. Not used hardly for an island, so loving it. Out river, here we come. So we just hammered out the first of potentially seven portages today, which would be the most we've done on any day, but it would be the least distance because they're all extremely short, going around a series of falls and rapids. Nice. We got a portage this one, but bald eagle and I think Bonaparte's gulls. Check out all the nymph shells on this spruce. Shore lunch today. Yep. Yeah, That's number one. Dispatch that one right away to end its suffering. And number two. Oh, nicer one. Just dispatch this one as well. And we've got lunch. Oh. oh, yeah. And a third. Now we're good.
Andrew and I have a good deal going. He fillets, which isn't my preference, and I get the fire going and get everything out. As soon as he's done, they're in the pan. Freshest you can get. This is just the first batch, and we've got the pectoral fins, also known as walleye wings. Some good meat in there. It's a little fishier, but it's good to use as much as we can. I like it. Wow. Made up for yesterday. Walleye! Big wing? Oh. <laughs> that was a healthy fish. Yeah. Good job, man. <laughs> there are a bunch of dragonfly nymphs coming out right now. They like to eat up the mosquitoes and black flies, so that's great to see. Back on our way after a great lunch. On to the next rapid slash falls. So I was here on my Wabakimi route two years ago and I caught a walleye on this rapid. Oh, he's not ready yet. And a big pike came and T-boned it. And now I've got a decent pike on the line here. Strong enough to fight away from me. There he goes. Pretty girthy. A good sized pike, you can carefully put your fingers in the gill plate. Halo around the sun could mean precipitation on the way. So we've hammered out these six portages into Onamakawash Lake, I think, something like that. We're skipping this section, it just doesn't look too exciting and we'd rather spend more time on the upcoming sections. So now we're on a big lake and we'll see how far we get. So we've decided to put in a big day here. The wind was is from the west which was in our face earlier in the day but now we're heading south so it's a crosswind and we're kind of using it. Tomorrow there's supposed to be a nasty south wind so it just makes, it makes sense to put in the distance today. It's gonna be a big one. Are you messing around back there? Come on, let's go to the woodshed. Paddle us. Come on, paddle us. Get away from me, mister. Not again, mister. went back over the rail line that we crossed on day three, not the same spot, further west. And now we're into Shawanabas Lake, where we plan to set up camp after a good paddle. Shawanabas is a really nice lake, but we're starting to get that sun-baked feeling again. So. Really looking forward to camp at the end of a long day and some dinner.
happy. Missed you. <laughs> Pulling into our planned campsite here. Looks interesting. Well, that's a real change of pace for night number six. Wide open jack pine site. Beautiful view of Shawanabas Lake. And we're getting water on, fire going because it is what time? Almost eight. That was a very full day, but we made great progress. And we have a nice peaceful sleep in maybe with rain tomorrow. Whoa. <laughs> Definitely burnt some knuckle hair there. <laughs> yeah, there's not much left by the end of the trip, you see, yeah? Supper's ready, and we've got our survival kit post day of getting baked in the sun. Um, biscuits, sausage, biscuits and gravy, and electrolyte tab, and water. Tons of sodium in this baby. Need all of it. Mmm. You want a bite? Yeah, I do actually. Careful, it's hot. Just hold it for me. <coughs> Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's it. That's pretty good. That's the one. <laughs> I my, love the picture my... on the front. It's just like, what is that? It's like brown and white. Yeah, substance. it's a real mess. <laughs> but like, yeah, give me that. It's what I need right now. It's fairly accurate, but no, not <laughs> not great. Day seven here on our Wabakimi trip. Though we're outside the park boundary again after we crossed the rail line yesterday. We're back on Crown land. And it was supposed to be raining this morning, but it looks like it's held off for now. Another beautiful sunrise. Mosquitoes are loving it this morning. getting breakfast going and it looks like it is darkening up here it could be a day and a half of rain ahead but it's been a beautiful trip for weather so couldn't complain a little rain would be refreshing actually yeah maybe it wouldn't hate it as long as I don't get wet Here comes the rain. Here we go. 
Well, a short paddle has brought us to the first portage of the day into Collins Lake. So we just hammered out a couple portages to start the day from there, our campsite, now into Collins Lake, another big one. And we were planning to get back up into the park, that's the boundary there tonight, and camp somewhere in this area most likely. Not a lot of distance, but several ports. Starting to get a bit stormy though. Uh, we might have to get off the water. Great of lightning. It's gotten pretty nasty now, so we got off the water. Pretty dark, and the lightning is close, so. We're gonna set up a tarp, I think. Whoa! Oh, ho. Got off the water at the right time. <laughs> A little bit of hot chocolate in my coffee is just amazing. Right Excellent now. combo. So good. Getting back on our way. Good thing we didn't wait any longer to get on our way. The wind is really picking up. This is a large lake, with lots of fetch. Starting to get some white caps, but we'll be across soon. Waiting out there. That picked up. Yeah, a little sketch after we crossed the island. It was. It's like, oh! Yeah, there were some waves that were getting pretty high up yeah. close to the gunnel. Anyway, should be in the clear now, smaller lakes.
for the next portage now. Son of yeah. Bog here. It's bouncy. Well, we need our wet. They're gonna be getting wet real soon. <laughs> Everything's wet. What? Everything's wet. That's true. Lots of nice flowering plants on the portages, making them quite enjoyable. Mountain ash, uh, lots of pink lady slippers, wild roses, Labrador teas flowering. So it's quite nice. Lots of nice smells along the way too. On to Bath Lake now. Honestly, we're not really stopping to enjoy the scenery right now. We're just trying to plug through the section of the route on a bit of a nasty day. That's fine, we've had good weather. And there was a burn here probably in the last five years or so based on the regrowth. Kind of cool to look at it, along with all the bog lands on the portages. Quite beautiful. The blaze on the tree up there. This must be, must be it. Going by the rail line once again. Uh, most likely. So it's just about two o'clock. We're hoping to stop early today. And we are heading back on the Boiling Sand River toward back to Tamarack Lake. Sort of looping back through another section of the route that we were on on day three or so. And hopefully set up camp not too long. We're gonna catch up on some sleep. Forest desk in here. That's five down for the day, and we're continuing on the boiling sand for a nice little paddle here. And then one more portage into Gnome Lake where we're gonna look for a camp and then back up is the following lake. Then we can stop a bit early for the day, have a nap in the hammock, under the thunderstorm perhaps, there might be some more of that. So That sounds lovely. This is looking beautiful here too, actually. Thoughts? Uh, I don't have many thoughts, John. So we found a nice spot here on the river and the weather forecast says there could be some really big rain in a couple of hours. So decided not to push it, especially after earlier. Better to be comfortable in our shelters than hunkered down under a tarp, soft and wet. What do you say, Zandy boy? Ready for a nap? I don't, it's your trip. You make all the decisions, John. That's right. You just tell me what to do, John. It's a good lad. So we're all set up here for Camp 7, if it rains. And either way, just really looking forward to a nap. I'm overlooking this. Looks like pretty raw and probably not too well-traveled section of river. And it's only four o'clock or so now, but the days are so long. We've been staying up late-ish, like a little past 11 last night and waking up before six. So 
we gotta make up some sleep at some point. dry birch bark, get the stick so fired up. A storm. Oh my god. I think it's raining. No. <laughs> In rain? At this hour? Yeah. Believe it or not. We just both got into our shelters. Good thunderstorm going. And one of my favorite things about the hammock is just being able to watch it. I have a wicked view here over the river, which is wide like a lake. Xander, poor guys, just look at the inside of this fly, like all tenters. So it's a big advantage. There's always pros and cons. I'm not saying it's better, just this is a perk. How you doing over there? Good, yeah. Good. It's not pooling under you? What? No. Good. Clouds are flying through as this blows out. All right, here we go for day eight. Still raining on and off, but it's supposed to clear up today. Let us dry out. Little black flies are hungry after a wet night. I tore my pants earlier in the trip and haven't bothered to sew them yet. I do bring a needle and thread, but they're getting in. Starting to get away from the bugs now that we're on the water. And two years ago on my Wapakimi trip, they were 10 times worse, quite literally. So they feel pretty decent this time. We're on our way.
Making our way through Gnome Lake now. This is what happens when you give the black flies any opening. They'll eat you alive. Gnome is a really nice lake. And because of our long day uh, two days ago, we now have a tailwind again today. So that's just paying dividends. Back to Tamarack Lake, this is where Xander got that nice walleye and we passed through the north end of it on day like three or four and now we're heading down the south side of it. Andy boy. We got ourselves a fishy. John? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Through the way. Through the one way. Hey, it's a walleye. It's a meatball. I want to show you the camera. Ah! No! Just relax, buddy. Sorry, I'm yelling. I don't need to yell. Just had a little lunch stop there at this campsite. We're almost at the end of Tamarack Lake and back to a portage. 625, longest portage we have left. Not too bad. Still have not seen another person on a trip. Wabakibi seems very little traffic relative to other canoeing parks. So, nice and quiet. So we're now outside of Park Boundaries again and heading for the Collins River, which we've saved for the end. Figured it would be the most scenic part of the whole trip. And it could mean no maintenance on portages. I'm not sure how much use it gets. So the flag there, we'll see what the trails are like. Is that the trail there to the left? Yeah. That's not too bad. Okay. Any better? It's uh, reasonable. Yeah, it's not bad. Reasonable. <laughs> Wild animals. Oh! Oh my god, is that you? Yeah. You okay? No. <laughs> A pretty little section here in the middle. But aside from that, it's the worst trail we've seen in a number of days. Just gonna put in here and wade with the second load in the canoe. Going the first load, it's a steep climb. This would be better. In fact, I can just portage here if I want. This is much better. So we started there on the Boiling Sand River. We've come around through Tamarack Lake, down here, just finished that portage into Cannon Lake. And we've got three more carries to get to Rush Bay Lake, where we hope to spend the night. After Rush Bay Lake, we'll be heading down the Collins River downstream, and hopefully we'll be able to avoid some of the portages with running or wading at least. And we still got 14 carries left. So yeah, that would be really nice if we could. Oh, 
hitched a ride on your boat. Yay! We just crossed over the rail line one last time. Finally done with it. Steep. Yeah. Oh, black fly is in my eye. Just flew in there. Um, maybe too many portages on this route for the bugs and uh, heat of the season. That's my fault, I picked the route. Anyway, still having a great trip. Yeah, there's a black fly right in my eye. So we're into the Collins River watershed now, and it seems like it's gonna be some tough travel. Trails are not looking too good. Nice! Pet it, just give it a little pet. Okay. She good? Yeah, she's Oh, this Jack Pine Island should be home for the night. Looks great. Well, we pull up to this island and we're really thrilled. It's so much nicer than we could have expected. Got some sunlight left, so we can dry out from after last night. How you feeling, Zandy boy? Good man, today was great. Yeah, big day. And now we're looking pretty for the rest of the trip. Boom, gear bomb. Let's get her dry. Yep. Just gotta zap that dampness when you get the chance, you know? Zap that dampness. Or it clings. When you see a trip like this, one might wonder, why would they do that? Why would they do all those portages through the bugs? And sometimes I've wondered that myself, but a moment like this is sufficient explanation alone. Perfect campsite, incredibly comfortable in the hammock and safe from the bugs on a gorgeous lake that we have all to ourselves. That has to be a good enough reward. Very, very happy here after a long day. And it's been a, it's been a full trip. Probably the second most portages I've done on any trip, so I'm feeling it, but there's a satisfaction too. This fire pit hasn't been used in quite a while, there's really nothing in it. I don't think it's ever been used. <laughs> it was here. Of no, there's some burnt pieces around, but anyway, it's shocking that this gorgeous island site's pretty untouched. Now that we're in the last 48 hours or so of the trip, feeling more confident in the food rations and just know I don't have to stretch them too, too long. Might be a double dinner tonight. 
And what I feel like first is just some mac and cheese. Got my favorite bird calling across the narrows here too. Swainson's thrush. Just heavenly. Mac and cheese. I don't think I'll ever tire of it. Yummy. Hmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Exquisite. So good, eh? Yeah. Such With some stuff. ketchup. You oh, put, do you put ketchup? No. No, I do not. Pepper. Whoa. Little bacon bits. Okay, that part's good. So after day eight, we now come around here and we're on Rush Bay Lake on a small island there. Tomorrow, the Collins River. Hands are remarkably not that raw, but they're still a little raw. <laughs> Nine, baby. Collins River. We made it. Who's Collins? Yeah. <laughs> Extra system. layer of first part. <laughs> it's the larynx system. <laughs> ah, that's the problem. Nice and cool this morning. I love sleeping when it's a bit cool. Oh, it's so much better than when it's clammy and hot. Oh, yes. yes. On our way for day nine, bound for the Collins River, just ahead. Can't wait. We both agree that was our favorite campsite of the trip. Just a perfect vibe there. Just a lazy river at this point. Of course, a tiny little rapid. It's gonna be weightable, so that's nice. We skip the first portage. It looks runnable until there's maybe a rocky drop there. This one's actually got some water after the beaver dam. Might get a little run in. Oh no! Crap! No! <laughs> the wall. Oh, okay. I was just gonna go in here. I think the, isn't the port on the left? Xander's gonna force his way through the tangle. I'm just cutting over to the portage. It's right here. Oh, what did I say right at the start of the trip? Xander 
thrives in chaos, I thrive in order. And it's the same with Aaron at home. I feel like I provide a good baseline level of order for our lives. When stuff comes up, she's on top of it. Like she's so good at dealing with that stuff. And yeah, maybe that's the same reason why I like tripping with Xander. Make each other stronger, I think. I think I can hear him in there just about to get through. Maybe it doesn't matter what side you choose, order or chaos, you end up in the same place at the same time. Looks gorgeous here. On to the next little obstacle. We're gonna try and snake our way down it. Pretty fun, I'm going for it. Fun little change. Not much room to maneuver there or even get in a paddle stroke. It just kind of shoots you out. Oh, this one's a drop. both finished that carry and had the exact same reaction. Wow, where did these come from? Oh, this is the most unreal spot of the trip. And there's a beautiful island campsite here, which is just teasing us. Badly want to stay, but probably going to make some more progress today. Taking a lunch break. That might give us our fill of this amazing spot in the cliffs. Oh, it's a rugged campsite, but it's one of a kind. This is a really special campsite. Xander's cooking up a coffee now, and we're debating whether to just stay here. Nice little fire pit, really nice jumping rock here, clean landing, and then the view. It is, it is a hard place to leave. Rapid to fish right down there. Well, we thought on it for a while and we couldn't resist. We're staying. 
just gonna wake up early and get to Bucamiga Lake tomorrow morning, maybe early afternoon, and then get out of here. But this is the right move. This is the right way to send off our trip. We cleaned up all the blowdown, got some firewood. There was blowdown all over the place here, so it's looking good. This kind of stuff. There's that much soil. Half three. Oh, yeah. Waking up from a nap to this is just a dream come true. Were you fishing? Any luck? How's your meal, meal sir? Mm. Did you want all that, or are you gonna make make it make it make a good choice and share it with me? Almost ended day nine. Here's what we did: Rush Bay, down here to this beautiful campsite. Planned on continuing, but obviously we couldn't resist. And on the overview, we're there. And we've just got this last stretch tomorrow, about 16 kilometers, I think. winding down here, end of day nine, tomorrow we're just gonna hammer out the last section. What a trip, it really shaped up here toward the end, especially with the scenery like this. But there are a lot of really nice moments along the way. Mm. What were some memories for you? Uh, I caught a really big walleye. Yeah. That was pretty cool. And lake trout. Saw it oh yeah, one. lake trout, I forgot about that. That was early on. Good fishing trip for we you. We hit some real rough portages, which were just brutal. Yep, there were too many portages. <sighs> That's yeah. my, that's on me. What was it, 42 I counted? Something like that, yeah. And we had a little bit of inclement weather, but the the, the weather was nice the whole time, but you know mm -hmm. what, what it did it for me? It was the vibes. Mm -hmm. And I know that's like kind of a word that gets used. It's just like, ugh, it's a weird word. But like, honestly, it was such good vibes between us this whole trip. Yeah, it was refreshing and just needed for me. It was a well enjoyed trip. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, wildlife was good. We saw woodland caribou, which is just, it's a privilege. Right. Um, the moose, briefly. And the raven nest was actually a really cool thing. Oh yeah, that, I forgot about that. And then the one of my woodpecker. Favorite, the woodpecker that nest. That was cool. Yeah, lots of little things like that. Birds, birding in general was great on this right. trip. And I saw a duck. Tons of bird song. Yeah, there's a duck out there lurking. 
Uh, the Swainson's thrush was calling all around. Sounds so cool. many other birds. That was lovely. What else do we see? What else? What Wildlife? Else? I feel like every day had some goodness to it. Yeah, we had good campsites, and I feel right. honestly, there's always a recency bias with campsites, but I feel like everyone got better. Yeah, really. They did. Every day I said this is my favorite campsite of the trip. Right. I just love going to different camps. It's always just like so refreshing for the brain and the eyes. And to finish it with the Collins has just been so excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was the right place to end the trip. I can't believe it's been nine days. We didn't see a single soul. No, no, didn't see one person. We, uh... I was a bit surprising. We crossed the railway bridge. Oh, we saw the fox too. <laughs> yeah, we had the fox, yep. The railway bridge, we crossed that four times. You got an awesome gift. I didn't document the fox at all. Oh, and your fat lip. How did we not refer to some 41 with fat lip? You should have been singing that old trip. I did sing it the other day. Did you? Yeah. Oh. It's going to a party like a Oh, yeah, we did sing it. <laughs> yeah, we've been singing <laughs> some old tunes together as well. Yeah. I hope we were able to capture like a, an eighth of the fun that we experienced on this trip. John and I yeah. had an amazing time together. We were just laughing and goofing about the whole time. And, um, and yet we, and we still remain friends. <laughs> it was a great, great trip. There was challenging moments. No day was easy physically, no. though, either. No, it was, a, it was a good amount of challenge. Yeah. But yeah, it was just, it was just like a good buddy trip. Yeah. And uh, really, it was needed for me. Great trip. Great trip. Wabakimi always delivers. Do the Wabakimi. Oh, oh, your pants are so rough and callous. We'll, we'll make a W. Give me your hand. You should exfoliate or something. Give me your hand. Do you have soft look? Wabakimi! Wabakimi! <laughs> 2024! <laughs> That's how we'll end it. Scene! On our way for day 10 in paradise. Looks like kind of like a moose or something. Could be a pictograph there. Yeah, that is one. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, I think. Yeah, it's got to be. Like there are natural reds that just appear in these rocks, but pretty certain that's a pictograph. That's awesome. Good eye, John. Well, that was special. We're at the first obstacle now, and it looks like it's gonna be a port.
Definitely got to go overland for this one. Time to the last three carries of the trip. Out of like 40 or so. Well, good here. One carry left into Bukamiga Lake. Turns out there was a second last carry. Paddle planner map didn't have it. Friends of Wapakimi did. They show it on the other side. Anyway, it's short, clear. There's a beautiful campsite here. Not a big deal. Made it. Oh we God. made it. Just a quick yeah. paddle. K paddle left. Yeah, that feels easy. Yeah. Maybe a bit long, but Good beautiful day. day for a paddle. Yeah, nice warm, hot day. Hey, 42 ports. No, 43 ports. <laughs> Somewhere unmarked. Mm, true. Oh, Cashews? All right, please. <laughs> but we got them done. Whoa. Oh, my God. It's a cashew party. I over rations. Now I got a bunch of cashews. That's Johnny Boy. No problem. Let's roll the candy. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. side of the river. <laughs> yeah, we just like waking up, just had a nice, we slept in because we had a good time. And, you know, we were looking like a cloudy day ahead and we just got to... Are you imitating me? Yeah. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> Rambling on like a ninny. A ninny? A beautiful start to day two here. <laughs> oh God. I didn't think the trip would turn out like this. I thought we were going to catch some fish. Just have a little bit of fun, but all of a sudden, I got bit by an insect and I had a little bit of reaction to it. <laughs> so weird.
Oh, gross. They're eating and shitting non-stop. Yeah, I did get it, unfortunately. Oh, okay, that's really nice. Let's just getting some pro audio. And I'll be seeing you when all my days fall <laughs> down. Cause it's better to go in anyway. That was beautiful, man. Oh, you're putting your camera there in my shot. Yeah. That's good. That's good. John! <laughs> Did I come in? No. You're too big. This is for little kids. Like me. Dude, don't eat over it. You're gonna spill food out of your mouth. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. <laughs> This is my only nice thing. I want a river named after me. <laughs> they should rename the Nile. Should Zandy rename river. some muddy ratchet river with eroding <laughs> banks. <laughs> yes, exactly. Completely unstable, prone to flooding. <laughs> Call it the Zanderberg. This <laughs> is Zanderberg. Alright, we're doing this my way. Zander's way or the highway. Are you in my shot? Yes, very much Are so. Are you yours? Yeah. Hi, I'm here in the shadows. Uh, it's all about me. Yeah. Welcome to the Xander Bunnick Show. Featuring... John Terrio. As himself. And... Sebastian Rudebegger. Russell Crowe. Oh my god, that was such a wonderful trip, John. Holy hell, that was so good! Hey, you are such I need a, you to focus. Pretend, such a great friend of mine. Pretend you just had a big bag of candy. We had such an amazing time together. Mm. Let's talk about all our experiences, how much we've grown. Hey. Yay! You get that out of your system? Okay, we're good. Let's see okay. now. Okay, I'm a bag of wait, candy. Wait. Uh. What else happened to you? Not, not just a fat lip. Wasn't there something else? No. You got bit on the tip of your penis by mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. That happened. It, it drew blood. <laughs> and seed. <laughs> Off to a good start. Yeah! Camp in! Hey, let me ask you a question. You've been watching these videos for an awfully long time and you're not subscribed to the old Lost Lakes channel. Make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, ring that notification bell so you get updated all the time about new new Lost Lakes videos that are coming out. And maybe even hit that like button because that's also a nice thing to do. It really helps this channel out. Thank you guys. <sighs> I like tripping with Xander. We make each other stronger, I think.